More charges possible against the man accused of organizing the attack that killed a U.S. ambassador and three other Americans in Benghazi, Libya. Today, Ahmad Abu Katala returned to a D.C. courtroom, his third hearing in just two weeks. ABC 7 Scott Thuman was inside the courtroom. Scott joins us live outside U.S. District Court in northwest Washington with where the case stands now. Scott. Well, Gordon, this is the third judge that Hatala has seen since being brought to the United States, although Judge Christopher Cooper telling him today that was just procedure and he is, quote, stuck with him from now on. In fact, he set a date just two months from now. Hatala will be back in court and likely face more serious charges. Leaving little to chance, heavily armed U.S. Marshals made sure Ahmed Abu Hatala's arrival at district court was as secure as possible. The main suspect to date in the Benghazi attack appeared just as he did last week and said nothing as his fate was debated by attorneys. Prosecutors revealing immediately after the attack, the FBI led a massive investigation spanning multiple countries and much of the evidence and witnesses remain outside of the United States. At this point, prosecutors are saying very little, including when and if they'll add even more serious charges that could bring the death penalty. Any time frame on something like superseding charges? You know, what we say in court is what's gonna, what, what will stand. Right? The defense also, though, wanting to know more. Hatala's attorney today countering government's claims that it's turned over plenty of information. We might dispute whether it's a large amount of discovery, she argued. That we've got people running around who killed Americans. Meanwhile, on the Hill, revelations Republicans want $3 million to spend on the special select committee set to investigate the Benghazi attacks and determine any fault in the lack of security provided Ambassador Stevens and staff who were killed. Offended, Nancy Pelosi tweeted, Unbelievable. House GOP will spend 3.3 mil on its Benghazi conspiracy, more than the entire Vets Committee budget. And we won't see any speedy trial in this case. The judge said it is unusual, complex, and has a voluminous amount of discovery. We're talking about documents that may not only be classified, but also need translating. So no real guess at this point as to exactly when the full trial will take place. Live outside U.S. District Court tonight, Scott Thuman, ABC 7 News. Thank you, Scott.